I'm sure that everyone's used one of the various websites available to test your internet speed, most notably websites like speedtest.net. And today, we're going to have a look at a little tool that lets you do the exact same thing from your terminal. So let's have a look. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is the GitHub page for Speedtest CLI. I've just brought this up so I can show you guys how simple it is to actually install this. So if we come down here, pretty much all you've got to do is just run pip install. You probably have pip already installed because if you've got vim then you've got python, if you've got python you've got pip. I'm pretty sure they come together anyway. And if you don't have vim you probably have something that's using python because there's no way you're running a modern Linux distro without having some dependency on Python just because everyone's using it. So if we run pip install speed, actually I can't autofill that, speed test dash CLI. I've already got it installed, so this should just try to update it. Yep. So all we do here is, so actually I can, I don't think it has a man page. No, it does not. So if we go dash H, this will give you all the options that you can use for it. Most of them not too useful. If you want to show the version number, I guess you can do that. If you only need the download and upload, or download or upload speed, then there's that. Or if you need it in like a CSV, there's this option here. Or you can even have it as a JSON file if you really want to. I don't, I don't know what you'd be using that for, but I guess the option's there if you really want it. So the tool itself, it runs pretty much as you'd expect, like speed test tool to run. So I'll bring up the one that everyone's used before. So if we just run this, you've got this massive website that has all this extra information, all these ads. I know I could be running ad blocker. I'm not running it for the sake of this video. There's no point going to this website if you want to test your internet speed when you're going to get the exact same result by just coming onto your command line, writing speed test CLI. It will take a little bit to actually get through it. Just I'm not sure if it's the server that's a bit slow or if it's the program that's a bit slow. It takes a little bit to run, but shouldn't take too long. So while that's running, if you notice down here, down this, on this bar down here, this is actually my current internet speed. So I'll show you guys the script that I'm using to put that there, because I don't know, I just felt like having it there. There's not really any productive use for it. So yeah, as you can see, we finished off the speed test here. Different from what's here, because this one's updated every half an hour, and depending on when you test it, you're going to have different speeds. The yeah, this other one, yeah, it's basically the same speed that we got here. Okay, it's a bit slower. There is a note on the GitHub page about the inconsistencies here, so if you want to come down here and read this, then you can, but you shouldn't really be trusting this as a perfectly accurate way to speed test. It's, you've got a bunch of router hops between the speed test server and your computer, so you're not going to get an exact speed test. There's not really a perfect science behind doing a proper speed test, so it's, it's kind of just a rough estimate. If you need something perfect, then you're probably going to have to redesign the entire internet. But you probably don't, so you probably just want something fairly accurate. So if we bring up my scripts folder, as always, my scripts are all available on my GitHub. And we go into my i3 scripts here. So it's a fairly simple script, there's nothing too special here. I'm just running speed test. I'm piping that into grep with the dash e command. Dash e, if you haven't used grep before, will let you do a regex expression. So I'm basically just getting the lines that say download and upload. So Okay, so if we see here, we have this line that says download and this line that says upload. So basically what that grep did, if we go back into my scripts, so it grabs those two lines that have the download speed and the upload speed. Then I will awk out only the uh, the speed part of it. So awk, it automatically splits on spaces. So the second argument, it's indexed from one, which is annoying, I'd rather it be indexed from zero. Not important, but it's indexed from one. So the second argument in this case is the speed. And then we pipe that into a TR, which is a basically that's to replace different symbols in a string. And we are replacing the new line with a space, just so we can put it into another awk. And that lets me basically put it into this format that's down here. If you want to play around with the script yourself, then it's available on my GitHub. So as I was mentioning before, if you want it in a, say, JSON format, then we run this command. It, it will take a little bit to run. It won't actually show the output as it was showing before, so I'll cut back to when that's done. So as you see here, we have the exact same results, but this time it's formatted as a JSON object. Once again, I'm not really sure what you'd be doing with this. 
maybe if you... I honestly don't know. You put it into some sort of program. I'm sure there's some use for it. I just don't have one for it. Anyway, I think that pretty much covers everything that I want to talk about in this video. All of these arguments you can read through on your own time. I'm not going to go through all of them myself. If something in the interests you, then feel free to test it out. So I think that is pretty much everything for this video. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. If you like these short tool reviews, then leave a comment telling me how you feel about them. If you don't like them, tell me that as well. And if you think your friends will like this video, remember to share it with them as well. So that is pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.